the Neom Green Hydrogen Company, which is constructing the world's biggest green hydrogen plant, has recently delivered its first set of wind turbines. The turbines arrived in the port of Neom in the northwest area of Saudi Arabia on October 8, 2023. Thus, keep watching this video to get the most recent updates. Tabuk province in northern Saudi Arabia is the Neom Metropolis Project's location, a proposed cross-border metropolis. It is planned to include smart city technology and simultaneously serve as a destination for tourists. The region may be found in the upper portion of the Red Sea, south of Jordan and Israel, and the east of Egypt, beyond the Strait of Tehran. It is predicted that it will encompass a land area of 26,500 square kilometers and stretch for 460 kilometers along the coast of the Red Sea. A significant inspiration for the Neom project's design came from the gardens by the bay in Singapore. It is expected that the first stage of the Neom City project will be finished by the year 2025. Also, it is projected that the plan will cost $500 billion. On January 29, 2019, Saudi Arabia announced the establishment of a closed joint stock company named Neom with a capitalization of $500 billion. The Public Investment Fund, the Sovereign Wealth Fund, purchased the corporation in its entirety and intends to use it to develop Neom's economic zone. In addition, the development is planned to use renewable energy sources. The initiative originated as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. This ambitious program seeks to lessen the country's reliance on oil while diversifying its economy and expanding its public service sectors. The plan calls for robots to carry out various tasks, including logistics, security, providing care, and delivering packages to homes. In addition, it intends to have the whole city run purely on energy derived from the sun and the wind. As a result of the fact that the city will be designed and constructed from scratch, numerous suggestions for advancements in infrastructure and transportation have been made. Neom recently announced that the port of Neom is officially open for business. Its goal is to become the world's first ever advanced terminal by 2025. It claims an investment of more than $1.99 billion, roughly equivalent to SR $7.5 billion, for its first development phase. When commenting on the project, the chief executive officer of Neom said it would act as a catalyst for more remarkable economic development, particularly in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In addition, Nadmi al Nazar said that it has the potential to contribute to the marine commerce goals of the area, in addition to the diversification of the economy and the enhancement of commercial competitiveness. In a rather amazing move, both the project and the Saudi government are working toward operating at a net carbon zero level while simultaneously using 100% renewable energy at the source. As a result, NEOM will operate only on environmentally friendly energy. This will involve using renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and green hydrogen-based sources. According to a statement released by NEOM, the seaport has the potential to be the next generation port that is the most environmentally friendly worldwide. In addition to this, the port's location places it at a significant intersection of global trade lines that pass via the Red Sea. To take it one step further, a contract was signed throughout the week for the construction of the Connector, a high-speed railway line spanning 57 kilometers. It will run along the shoreline of the Red Sea and link the port city of Oxagon in Neom with the line. A contract with a value of $1.5 billion was signed by WeBuild together with its joint venture partner, Shib Al Jazeera Contracting Company. Officials have indicated that the construction of the railway line would create well over 4,000 direct and indirect employment possibilities, particularly for the labor market in Saudi Arabia. Neom has given the International Project Management Services Business Assistant the contract to conduct pre-development studies for seven future solar photovoltaic parks in Tabuk and Duba. These solar parks are integral to Neom's plan to become the foremost center for producing renewable energy worldwide. The scope of the research will extend to include a myriad of services, such as site evaluation, preliminary park design and master planning, environmental baseline surveys, environmental and social impact assessments, and permit studies. The business will carry out a variety of evaluations, including geotechnical, geophysical, topographical, hydrological, glint and glare, and corrosion assessments. In addition to this, a system will undertake estimates regarding energy yield, as well as sophisticated park design. The authorized sites cover more than 420 square km 
and can produce more than 20 gigawatts of electricity. Furthermore, they account for about 65% of the total land area. In Neom City, a project consisting of 2,174 apartments has resulted in signing a contract to deliver engineering equipment. The contract was finalized by the Scandinavian Industrial Building System, which is recognized as the world's foremost authority on modular construction. The mega project, estimated to cost $500 billion, will be constructed across the northwestern region of Saudi Arabia. It will have 35 buildings that will function as designated places for workers allocated to the planning, engineering, and construction of NEOM. The developer anticipates that all of the apartments will have been delivered by the third quarter of 2024. The development will consist of apartments with either one or two bedrooms once it is finished. Each apartment will have a balcony, its very own kitchen, and a bathroom, in addition to the standard facilities. Additionally, the units will be following the standards set out by NEOM. As a result, the project will include environmentally friendly practices in its overall design. As a direct consequence, the developer will be responsible for installing solar panels on the tops of the buildings. Also, attaining a significant degree of energy efficiency will become possible. When commenting on the agreement governing the project, the chief executive officer of SIBS said that the company is thrilled to take part in the creation of NEOM. Eric Tomeas went on to say that the organization would do all in its power to assist in developing the initiative into an international center, in addition to being a forward-thinking, customer-focused, and environmentally responsible development. Autonomous, NEOM's cognitive technology firm, recently came to the completion of and inaugurated its first digital communications facility. This event took place at the end of July 2023. Given the moniker Autonomous, the NEOM Telecommunications Center is located in Oxagon, the neighborhood in NEOM City home to the most innovative and environmentally friendly enterprises. A high-capacity, highly efficient data center and accompanying infrastructure are also included in this facility, in addition to a two-story office building capable of housing up to 150 staff. A software-driven network and a secure private cloud will allegedly be powered by the facility, which will service up to 60 sites, 1,800 buildings, 300,000 construction workers required at NEOM by 2025, and 200 million Internet of Things devices by 2030. In addition, it will interface with critical national and international digital networks and services that now exist or will be developed in the future to provide end users with a seamless experience. Also, it will make it possible to use cognitive solutions and predictive intelligence to build a sustainable, habitable, and egalitarian future. Therefore, based on its most recent update, it is evident that Saudi Arabia will construct the Envision project within the allotted time frame. Leave a comment below letting us know whether you believe the NEOM project will be a success, and if you believe the most recent updates agree with the project delivery timetable. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.